Hello and welcome to our quick guide on getting started with animation in Adobe After Effects. If you've ever wanted to bring your graphics to life, you're in the right place. Animation in After Effects is all about creating movement and change over time. Whether it's making text fly across the screen, logo spin, or creating complex visual effects for your videos. In this tutorial, we're diving into the basics of animation using After Effects. I'll guide you through the essential steps to create your very first animation, even if you've never opened the program before. You'll learn how to set up your project, animate simple objects and text, apply some cool effects to make your work stand out, and finally, how to export your creation so you can share it with the world. Whether you're looking to add some flair to your video projects or just exploring your creative side, this tutorial will give you the tools you need to start animating with confidence. So, let's get started and unlock the creative potential of After Effects together. Great! Now that we're ready to start, the first thing you'll need to do is open Adobe After Effects. Once it's up and running, you'll see a welcome screen. From here, click on New Project to begin. Don't worry if it looks a bit overwhelming at first. I'll guide you through the important part. All right, with our new project open, let's bring in something to animate. You can animate almost anything, but today we'll start simple. Go to the iFile menu at the top left, select Import, and then File Choose a file you'd like to animate. It could be a logo, some text, or just a shape you want to play around with. Now, let me give you a quick tour of the After Effects interface focusing on what we'll use today. This large area in the middle is your composition window, where you'll see your animation come to life. Life animation come to life. On the left, we have the project panel where all your imported files and compositions live. Down here at the bottom, is the timeline panel. And this is where the magic happens. It's where you'll control the timing of your animation. To get started with our animation, we need to create a composition. Think of a composition like a canvas in painting. It's where you'll arrange and animate your assets. Click on this little icon here that looks like a film strip or go to composition, new composition. Let's name it my first animation. You can leave the settings at their default for now, but make sure the duration is set to something short, like 5 seconds, to keep things simple. Once you click OK, you'll see your composition appear in the timeline panel. You can drag your imported asset into this timeline to start animating it. And that's it for the setup. You successfully created a new project, imported an asset, and prepared your composition. You are now ready to dive into the world of animation. Fantastic! Now that we have our project set up and our asset ready, let's jump into the fun part animation. In After Effects, animations are created using something called keyframes. Think of keyframes as bookmarks. They mark the start and end points of any change you want to make to your asset, like moving it across the screen, changing its size, or rotating it. Let's start with a simple animation. We'll make our object move across the screen. First, select your layer in the timeline. Now, find your position property by twirling down this little arrow next to the layer name. You will see position along with scales and rotation. Click the stopwatch icon next to position to create our first keyframe. This tells After Effects. Hey, this is where my animation starts. Next, move the playhead to where you want the animation to end. Let's see, 2 seconds in. Now, simply click and drag your object to its new position on the screen. You'll notice After Effects automatically creates another keyframe at this new point. And there you have it, a basic position animation. Let's quickly try scaling and rotation. Go back to the first keyframe on your timeline. Click the stopwatch next to scale and rotations to add keyframes for those as well. Now, move to the end keyframe. To change the scale, simply adjust these numbers here, making your object larger 
or smaller. For rotation, click and drag this rotation value. Notice how After Effects change through POV changes too. And that's the basics of keyframe animation in After Effects. By using these simple techniques, you can start to bring your objects to life in your compositions. Remember, the keyframe process is the same whether you're animating text, shapes, or images. Experiment with different combinations of position, scale, and rotation to create dynamic animation. Feel free to play around with the timing of your keyframes on the timeline to speed up or slow down your animation. After Effects gives you complete control over the timing and pacing of your animations, allowing your creativity to shine. Now that we've got a handle on animating movement, let's add some polish to our work with effects. After Effects has a vast library of effects after effects, but let's focus on a couple that are especially useful for beginners. The Cross Dissolve Effect and Gaussian Blur. These can add a professional touch to, touch to your animations with just a few clicks. First up, let's do a cross dissolve effect, which is perfect for smoothly introducing your object at the beginning of your animation. To add a cross dissolve effect, select your layer and go to effect transition, cross dissolve. You will see the effect appear in your effect controls panel. Initially, you won't notice any change but here's where keyframes come back into play. Move your playhead to where you want your cross dissolves to end about a second into a timeline and click the stopwatch next to transition completion in the effect controls panel to set a keyframe at 100. Then drag your playhead back to the start of the timeline and set the opacity to 0. This creates a fade in from invisible to fully visible. Next. Let's add some blur to our moving object, making the animation feel more natural. With your layer still selected, go to Effect, Blur Sharpen Gaussian Blur. In the Effect Controls panel, adjust the blurriness value. A little goes a long way, so start with a value around 10 to 15. To make the blur only appear during movement, animate the blurriness value by setting keyframes from 0 at the start and end of your movement to your chosen value at the peak of the action. And there you have its simple yet effective ways to enhance your animations with cross, dissolve, and Gaussian blur. Experiment with these effects to see how they can improve the look and feel of your project. Remember, the key to mastering after effects is practice and experimentation. Don't be afraid to try different effects and settings to see what works best for your animations. Congratulations on making it to the final step of our journey. Before we share our masterpiece with the world, let's quickly review how to preview our animation right here in After Effects. To see your animation in action, simply go to the beginning of your timeline and press the spacebar. After Effects will play through your animation, allowing you to see every move in real time. If it doesn't play smoothly the first time, don't worry After Effects is just rendering it out. Play it again and it should be smoother. Now, to the grand finale, exporting your animation. Once you're happy with how everything looks, go to Fiddle at the top, hover over Export, and then click on Add to Adobe Media Encoder Query. This will open Adobe Media Encoder, a powerful tool that prepares your animation for sharing whether it's for the web, social media, or another project. In Adobe Media Encoder, you'll see your composition listed. Here, you can choose the format and preset for your export. For most web users, selecting H264 as the format, as the battery, as the preset works play. This will ensure your animation looks sharp and clear online. Finally, set your output file by clicking on the name Next to output file, to choose where you want to save your animation. When you're all set, hit the green play button at the top right to start the export process at the export process. And there you have it. Once the export is complete, you'll have a video file of your animation ready to share with the world.
experiment with different effects, keyframes and techniques to keep growing your skills. Animation is a vast and exciting field and this is just the beginning of what you can create with After Effects.